breaking news to start the 11 o'clock hour. Brevard County authorities say they have arrested a white nationalist who ran for the U.S. Senate in Florida. The Miami Herald reports deputies arrested Augustus Solon Victus at a mall. The 36 year old is from Ocala. He was arrested on a warrant out of South Carolina for kidnapping and domestic violence. Jail records show Invictus is being held without bond. He's scheduled to appear in court in a few weeks. New this morning, a man is seriously hurt after a New Year's Day crash in Boynton Beach. It happened just before six last night on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Police say Benjamin Burton was thrown off his dirt bike after a car hit him. He was taken to a hospital with major injuries. Police don't think the driver even saw the dirt bike because it didn't have any lights or signals. We're seeing our first images today of the damage left behind at the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. It's a result of several attacks by an Iran-backed militia group that was able to breach portions of the compound. The embassy is closed to the public and U.S. citizens are warned to even avoid approaching the building. U.S. officials say they have complete confidence in the Marines now guarding the compound. We're completely com uh, confident in uh, the Marines that we have guarding our U.S. Embassy. We think the situation is secure in Baghdad. Uh, however, we're always on alert around the Middle East. You saw Secretary Esper come out yesterday and talk about the additional projection, uh, projection of forces that will be in the region to, pr to protect us. The aggression caused U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to delay a trip to Europe and Asia to monitor developments in the Middle East. This just in, health advisories lifted for Du Bois Parking, Jupiter, also Phil Foster Park in Riviera Beach. Those advisories were issued last Friday after high levels of bacteria were detected in the water. Good morning, I'm 25 meteorologist Katya Hall. Wow, what a beautiful day it is. Here's a live look outside Mar-a-Lago. We're seeing a whole lot of sunshine out there. And here's a look at Zell Ray Beach. That camera's loading up here, but you get the idea. A whole lot of sunshine out there. And it's going to be a great beach day with that low risk for rip currents out there. Low 80s in West Palm Beach right now. Upper 70s in Palm Beach Gardens. Just warmed up to 80 degrees in Jupiter. Upper 70s in Boca. Upper 70s in Fort Pierce and mid 70s out in Indian Town with low 80s already in uh, Wellington right now. Winds are coming out of the southeast at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. That's helping to draw in a little bit more moisture out there. So not only is it warm, but it's also a little bit humid out there. So make sure you bring that water bottle if you're heading out and about for today. The radar is pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of moisture to work with today. So our rain chances, they're going to be on the low side, about 10% for today. Daytime highs warming up to the low 80s this afternoon. Mostly sunny skies. And if you have any evening plans tonight. Temperatures dipping into the mid 70s into the overnight hours. Those temperatures dropping into the low 70s, so a little bit warmer than what we saw this morning. Here's our next cold friend. It is working its way a little bit closer to our area. This is going to up those rain chances sometime this weekend. I'll time it all out for you coming up in just a few minutes here. Florida power and light bills will see a slight savings this year. Monthly bills will drop by about four bucks per household. FPL says the price reduction is possible because of lower operating costs and more good news for customers not having to pay the FPL mobilization and restoration costs for Hurricane Dorian. The utility set aside about $270 million to prepare for the hurricane, saving customers an average of $54 on their annual bill. Police are still out to find the person who shot at least 10 cars along two popular interstates in Florida, Interstate 4 and I-95 in Volusia County. The shooting spanned across three Florida counties. Witnesses say they saw a small caliber gun or a BB gun. No reports of anyone getting hurt. We were just riding and you just heard a big boom and the window shattered. Everybody jumped up. Authorities say they're looking for a silver SUV in connection with the shootings. A Disney 